What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Happy 2019. Let's get into the news. The first story of the day is we have a speed test of AT&T's 5G network versus its 4G network and the results are not that impressive. Now this is a 5G speed test versus a 4G speed test, both on the AT&T network at the same spot using two different routers. And you can see that the speeds are basically the same more or less. They both have a 77 ping on the 5G and the 4G. The 5G has a slightly faster download speed, 194 versus 187. And the upload speed is doubled, 17 versus eight. But other than that, it's not very impressive. Now it is in the infancy of 5G and the test was done on a Nighthawk in Indianapolis. And you know, like I said, it's it's cool to see up uh, speeds that are faster, but they're not that impressive, unfortunately. We'll have to wait further into its life to see some bigger boosts. The theoretical peak speed of AT&T's 5G network is 625 megs, and this comes nowhere close to that. Next up, if you've been waiting for dark mode on Facebook Messenger, it is in testing right now, and we have screenshots. Check these out. And not much to see in terms of dark mode. Obviously, expect a dark or black background with you know white or light gray lettering, and that's pretty much it. And this is what you see right here from the screenshot. It's being tested, so it's not out yet officially, but hopefully this will come out very, very soon. But it's a cool little indicator of what we're gonna see when dark mode comes out for Facebook Messenger, if you use it. If you have the unlocked Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus in America, a new update is being pushed out right now. It gives you the December security patch, along with some bug fixes and some other things as well. So if you have that phone, check into your settings and then software update and look for that update. And hopefully you have it by now. And the last story of the day is about the Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, and the foldable phone that's coming out for Samsung. So all the S10, S10 Plus and foldable phone will have a three camera setup on the back of the phone. The big thing coming out of this is that the lenses being made for the phone will be Samsung lenses. They're not gonna be Sony or some other manufacturer. Samsung's designing the lenses and making the lenses for these phones. The other big part of it, and we kinda already knew this, but I guess it's a little bit new for the foldable phone, is that one of those lenses will be an ultra wide angle, allowing you to get that kind of look that a GoPro gets where you can see a lot more on the screen. Hopefully it has image stabilization built into it so that when you you know walk around that the or video stabilization too actually so that you know you get that uh, crystal clear uh, non wobbly video it's just like smooth like butter I'm hoping they really do that but I'm totally stoked about these wide angle lenses I liked it in the LG phones and now they're bringing it to this year's Samsung phone so it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be really really cool hopefully guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe new videos every single day my question out to you guys is how do you feel about a wide angle lens on a samsung phone is it something you're going to be excited for in the new phones being released by samsung in 2019 their flagship phones the s10 s10 plus the 5g version of that s10 version and also the foldable phone and probably the note 10 let me know in the comments down below i'm super stoked as you know but i want to see what you guys think Thanks for watching. Happy New Year. We'll see you down the road. Peace.